beautiful peoples. It's your girl Keisha and today I am here with a luxury haul video. Y'all know that I am a girl that likes some designer things, okay? I have a plenty here in my beautiful closet, but I'm also a woman that doesn't like to break the bank, okay? Sometimes I like to buy very high price items. Sometimes I don't feel like doing that and I like saving a coin, okay? Because a lot of times I find with designer pieces, especially like accessories or whatever, why pay hundreds or thousands of dollars for something that just might be hot for the moment? They might not be something that you really wanna invest money into. So sometimes I will buy a dupe. Sure will, ain't no shame in it. And when I wanna buy the real deal Holyfield, I'll do that as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some of the luxury pieces that I just bought here recently. But you'll also be surprised that some of these items are actually dupes. So I wanna know, can you guys spot the dupe or the real version? Do you really know your designer goods? Do you have the eye, okay? Can you spot a real from a fake, okay? so. First off, I'm gonna show you some shades that I bought here recently. And I wanna know down below in the comment section, can you spot which one is the real pair of shades and which one is the dupe pair? First up, I have these fabulous Loewe shades. Get into these shades. These are the Loewe double cat eye framed glasses these are the new it glasses all of your faves are wearing these shades and when i saw these shades i was like girl you gotta add these to your collection they are everything look at how they just frame my face so perfectly these are the perfect shades to wear on a day like today where you don't really want to put on any makeup but you still want to look put together and you want to look rich and expensive you want to look like you got a coin honey you know what i'm saying you want to throw on something to let people know you know that you're that girl because you know sometimes you gotta pop out it you know what i'm saying these shades are perfect they're not heavy. This gold cat eye frame just sets the glasses off. This is what really makes these glasses pop and they look good on so many different face frames. I love the way that these shades frame my face and they cover my eyes. Y'all know I got dark circles around my eyes. So if I don't feel like putting on makeup, I will throw these shades on and be about my business because I'll still look like I'm presentable. I won't be looking all busted and disgusted. You know, these shades are everything, everything. Baby, you gotta get you a pair. These are fabulous and these are gonna look so good on me. For my birthday trip to Miami later on this summer, I cannot wait to rock these shades. The next pair of shades I have are these Versace logo frames. Look at how they have Versace written out on the legs of the glasses. Come on, come through. Baby, when I saw these glasses online, I was like, where is my credit card? Put in the numbers right now because we're getting them. Let's get them within the next 24 hours. These glasses are fire, fire. These shades will most definitely replace my Prada shades for like my everyday glasses because I love a pair of black shades. They're just easy, you don't have to really think about it. And these make a statement without having to do too much. You know what I'm saying? You already know the vibes. You know the vibes as soon as I'm stepping into the room, okay? You know that I'm that girl, all right? These are perfect. They are lightweight, they're not heavy, they're not irritating like my, my ear. You know how sometimes you'll have on a pair of shades and they'll start to like weigh down on your ears and start to irritate you sometimes? These are not giving that, they're really comfortable. And I just love that the sides are like this metal, it's not plastic, this is like a metal 
leg that they have on these shades and these are amazing they really do remind me of my Prada shades these are amazing so down below in the comment section you guys please tell me which one do you think is the dupe pair and which one do you think is the real pair which ones can you tell do you know do you have that eye to be able to spot a real or a fake one Type down below in the comment section which one you think is the real one. And don't lie. Be honest. Don't be cheating, okay? Let me know. Okay, y'all ready for me to tell you which one is the real and which one is the dupe? Drum roll, please. These are the dupes. Yes, these are the Loewe dupes, y'all. And when I tell you these are some great dupes. The only thing that they are missing is the Loewe logo on the side. Other than that, they are spot on. And I got these from Amazon. Amazon.com. These shades are amazing. Now, the Loewe's retail for $480. $480. I got these on Amazon. <laughs> Amazon for $13.99. And they actually have other colorways too. So versus me paying the $480, <laughs> I got these for 90% less of the price, probably even more. $14. And these look absolutely stunning. I mean, come on, dupe. Everything, of course, will be listed down below in the description box for you to purchase yourself. These are fabuloso. Yes, fabulous. So if you want to pay less and get the look for less, the link is in the description box, all right? And my Versace's are the real deal, Holyfield. Yes, I actually found these on Amazon in the luxury department. If you do not know, Amazon does sell luxury items. Yes, they sell all of your faves, except for Louis Vuitton, because you can only buy Louis Vuitton exclusively in a Louis Vuitton store. But I was able to find these under the Versace um, section, and I caught these on sale, you guys. The original price of these Versace glasses are $363. I was able to get these shades off of Amazon on sale for $99 because they had a huge sale going on. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, I gotta cop these immediately before the price goes back up. And of course they came in their Versace case and the Versace box with all of the credentials and everything on the inside. So, yes, honey, the Versace's were the real deal. Now, let's get into some designer purses. I have not treated myself with a new designer purse. Whew, it's been all, it's been over a year since I bought a new designer bag. The last designer purse that I bought for myself was my jock mousse lunch box bag which i am obsessed with and love this bag is everything and i get so many compliments on it when i wear it this bag retails for nine hundred dollars and i got this like early last year and this was the last purse that i purchased for myself so i was like yeah it's time for mama a new purse so i was like let's get to shopping all right so the first bag that i bought for myself was this Vivian Westwood purse. This purse is amazing. They This purse actually comes in black and I was gonna get it in black, but I had already purchased another purse already that is in like the same silhouette and style. So I was like, okay, I won't get the black version. I'll get the lavender version because I don't have any lavender purses and this might go <clears throat> really good with the dress that I have for my birthday. So this is the Vivian Westwood purse and this is the Jody Saddle bag. 
look at this purse i love that it has the huge vivian westwood logo on the front and it has this brass chain as the handle i mean get into the gigiana of it all this purse is amazing it has the magnetic closure and everything this is how it looks on the inside. It is canvas. I cannot wait to wear this. It is so stinking cute. Let's take it out of the packing. So this is how it looks. It's not a long chain. This purse is meant to be like a cute little, you know, a little bag, a little cute little something or another on your arm. It's not meant to be super long. This is supposed to be like a cute little shoulder bag or you can hold it in your hand or whatever. This is supposed to be a cute little nighttime bag. This is not a day-to-day, -day, everyday type of bag. And I love it. It's just so cute and fabulous, honey. Next up, I decided to treat myself with a new Louis. It was Louis time, you guys. I have not purchased anything from Louis Vuitton in quite some time. The only Louis Vuitton bag that I already have is my vintage denim Louis Vuitton bag. It was time for me to get me a new Louis bag, okay? And I don't normally gravitate towards the color red, but when I saw this purse, honey, I was like, get, you are coming home with me. This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy. This is the P9. I don't know how to pronounce the other word of it, so I ain't gonna even try. But look at her, y'all. Look at this purse. It comes with the wallet and all of the little charms and everything. Like, just look at her. Look at her. Ain't she a beauty? Comes with the Louis Vuitton locket on the side. The lock. Oh, this purse is... Phenomenal. It also comes with a strap, with the Louis Vuitton strap and everything. This is how it looks on the inside. I'm not a big strap girl. I like to, only time I like wearing a strap is if I'm gonna wear a crossbody. And with a purse like this, I would never wear a crossbody. I would, this would be like a top handle type of bag for me. Um, so this would be a purse that I would walk around with like this. This is everything. This would make a great travel purse for me. So I can like put uh, my phone and a little portable fan and all my hand sanitizers. I can put my Kindle in here so I can read on the plane. I can stuff a book in here, whatever. Like this bag is everything. I love this, you guys. This purse is freaking fantastic. Oh my God, then this pebbled leather gagging. Baby, I am obsessed. This and my Valentino are the only red bags I have, but I think that I'll probably wear this one more than my Valentino because this is like a literal everyday bag. And I already know I'm gonna get so many compliments on this purse. This is an investment purse, okay? This cost a coin, all right? I'm gonna work my butt off <laughs> to recoup what I paid on this purse. And my last purse is from Miss Tori Birch. I've never purchased a bag from Tori Birch ever. Um, I purchased them for other people, for gifts, but never for myself. But one day I was on the For You page or whatever on Instagram and I saw a girl with this purse. And I was like, wait a minute, Tori might have been in her bag, literally, when she designed this one. I was like, I gotta get this purse. Oh, I gotta get this purse, okay? Cause I have been looking for a new everyday black purse. And when I saw Miss Mama, I was like, oh yes, oh yes. So this is the Tory Burch Eleanor bag in small. Look at her, look at her. Look at this brass chain. It gives that vintage vibe with the Tory Burch logo in brass on the front. Ah, mean, look at this. Ain't this so cute and chic? 
So you can do it double strapped, as you can see, like I have it right now, or you can wear it long like this. You can do a crossbody type of style with this purse if you want to. It's a little too short for me, I feel like. It's like literally right underneath my boob. I mean, I can do it, but nah. I would probably wear this as a handbag like this. But this is so chic and cute. It has a magnetic closure too on the inside. This is how it looks with the brown leather. This purse is a May zing amazing and i was like yes i need this purse asap i was like i gotta add this to my collection fabulous miss tori honey you did it you did that with this one okay so out of all three purses you guys one of these bags is a fake two of them are real which one do you think is the dupe and which one do you think is the real one let me know down below in the comment section. Like I said, don't cheat. Tell the truth, okay? Tell the truth, okay? Which one? Which one do you think? Which one? Okay, y'all ready for the answer? Y'all ready? I'm gonna switch them up down below. And the dupe purse is the Louis Vuitton Speedy, y'all. Y'all, for this to be a dupe, this purse is absolutely fantastic, okay? You could not tell that this was a dupe purse. Shout out to the company Star Tree for sponsoring this portion of the video. They sent me this beautiful Louis Vuitton dupe, okay? And I was like, I wanna see, I wanna see, because she said her bags was... <laughs> The real deal Holyfield and I was like let me see because you know I have a real Louis Vuitton so I really wanted to see am I gonna be able to clock if it's a dupe and baby when this purse came I was like oh y'all did y'all the fizzle this bag the real version actually retails for depending on where you get it between 10 and 14 thousand dollars yeah <laughs> who got that type of money to be spending on a purse not me unless I wanna be broke for the month. But you can get this same purse on Star Tree for $400. The link will be down below in the description box. But guess what? I have a code for you guys. If you wanna purchase anything from off of Star Tree, they have Louis Vuitton, they have Versace, they have Prada, they have Miu Miu, they have Gucci, they have Balenciaga, they have Chanel. I mean, they have every brand of purse that you can think of. And with my code, you guys will get 18% off of your first purchase. 18% off using code Keisha. Yes, code Keisha. And you can get the same Louis Vuitton purse from off of Star Tree. Shout out to Star Tree for reaching out to your girl. I'm not a big dupe girl like that, but baby, <laughs> they did the doggone thing and I will be rocking this with pride. You feel me? I'm gonna be rocking it. Can't tell me nothing, 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 nothing. The process was really good. Shipping came fast. Um, they answered all of my questions. It was easy to work with them. You know, sometimes you be a little bit cautious when you trying to buy something from off of the gate or anywhere else. But with Star Tree, everything was up to code. The process was easy. It didn't come in like smell weird or anything like that. There's no smell to this at all. It came with the Louis Vuitton box, as you guys saw. And it came with a dust bag as well. Like I said, they did the dang on thing with this purse. Star Tree, amazing work. Amazing work. I am obsessed with this purse and it will be proudly put on display in my closet room for sure. So if you want this purse, it will be linked down below in the description box. Or you can use my code Keisha and get 18% off on any other style of purse or item or whatever on Star Tree. The link 
will be down below for the website. And remember to use code Keisha for 18% off. My Vivian Westwood purse is in fact real. And uh, y'all, this purse originally retails for $656. This is how much this purse retails for. I was able to purchase this Vivian Westwood bag from off of Farfetch for $260.70. Farfetch has a great sale going on and I could not pass this purse up when I saw it, especially with it being marked down so much. So I was like, yeah, I gotta get this. And as far as the Tory Burch Eleanor bag, this purse right now retails for $648, okay? But I was able to go on none other than eBay, eBay, and find this purse for $160 brand new. Yes, ma'am, brand new on eBay. I was actually watching a YouTuber's video and she was talking about how to define, how to find designer bags on eBay for cheap. And I was like, I haven't shopped on eBay in whoo, a good almost 20 years, but I'm glad I did. $160. It was an easy process with the seller. It came on time, no issues or anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see your comments down below to see if you could spot the real or the dupe. Let me know down below in the comment section if you want me to do more videos like this. Please, you guys, thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not and turn on your post notifications so you know when my videos drop. I do have some more haul videos coming for you guys, so be on the lookout for that. I love you and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.